What's up, traders? Going uh, four for four today. Uh, started a little bit late. I tried to trade at the bell. There wasn't really anything to trade. Had my youngest pre-K graduation this morning. Um, didn't get back until about 1045 or so. And there really wasn't too much until we ended up taking the trade on MMM, which was at 1130. Let's pull that up. And this one was actually kind of crazy. Made a pretty good move. Um, volume out of nowhere. I usually don't trade this first candle. Would have been nice not to. But it ended up being okay because we had um, this initial pullback, which ended up working out. We started it real small, took 10 shares. I was looking at the range um, as well as it was a volume out of nowhere. Um, really just wasn't looking to get caught in anything absolutely crazy, which this one ended up being kind of crazy. Had we not got this fill, um, could have got a little dicey. Uh, Would have worked out, obviously. But um, anyways, took 10, 10, covered 15. So we were left with five and it pretty much shot straight up from there. Uh, so it didn't really get a chance to necessarily like cover a break even. Uh, it kind of just went straight up and I thought about adding uh, 15 back, um, which actually would have ended up working in hindsight uh, when I hit this because I, I actually let it make a high here at 103, was looking to add up through 103 um, just to get our average way up because it was way down here towards 100. Um, but I ended up just adding five on the way down, uh, only brought our average pretty much right up to where this ended up dropping to Had I hit it for 15 there. Um, it would have brought our average pretty close up to where we added probably around like 101, like 60 or so. And we actually could have took some off here, but unfortunately that's not what we did. And ended up taking us for a little bit of a ride, um, went all the way up to 104.55 and we actually added 10 and then I believe we added another 20. Yeah, we did. Uh, so one of these is 10. It went up, uh, after we added that 10 to 104.55 on the way down, uh, it was a pretty good stuff. We actually added 20 on the way back down, um, just to get our average up as much as possible. Basically at this point saying, okay, that's the stuff we were looking for. If it goes back up through there, we're just going to cut it. Um, and I believe at that point it would have been like a 35, I, I believe it was like $35. Uh, I did the math earlier. I forget what it was. So I think it was like $35 loss. So it wasn't even that big of a deal, but it does come down, uh, starts to work its way out. And, uh, we were doing previous candle. Uh, this was a pretty big stretch back to previous candle. Um, obviously would have put us in the red as well. Didn't want to let it do that. Um, wish I would have cause, uh, it would have worked because I don't like using, the previous candle when it's inside like this because or as it's moving up because it's it's already there essentially so i'm looking for a move down and then i'm looking for a previous candle so like like on this move here uh right here we could say previous candle and then previous candle and then previous candle as because it wasn't at the highs when it was finishing that candle so when it broke this 170 area that's where we would have cut it had we still been in it so uh, anyways, it worked out actually ended up being our biggest trade of the day, um, because it went way further than we thought we ended up with more shares than we probably initially had assumed we were going to. And, uh, yeah, it worked out. Um, next trade was on ULCC. These all kind of happened pretty fast. Like I said, I only trade till 12 o'clock and that first trade was at 1130. Uh, this one, as you can see, was at 1141. Uh, just 100 shares. Range wasn't that crazy. Uh, was I actually had my initial order out at 891. I was just looking for 20 bucks. Came down to 895. We ended up taking it off at 898. Uh, once I realized it didn't kind of want to flush down to us. Doesn't look like it actually got there anyway at 893. So um, ended up getting a decent amount out of that one. Just smaller share size. Uh, then we tried Ennox. Um, this one was kind of interesting. I almost got the ad here because we started so small, only took 25 shares, was looking up through 21 for the ad, uh, seemed pretty done here before 21. Um, thought about adding on the backside here, looking for this exact drop. We did get it. Um, didn't do the ad because I was like, eh, I don't really want to add any risk. Cause at that point, if I do add, I'm cutting at high of day there at 2085 and it just wasn't, I didn't have enough size to make it worthwhile. Um, we did have an order out at 30, 2030. 20, it got to 33. Didn't want to quite get down there and it still didn't. Um, but we ended up taking it off there at 42 for a pretty small win there. That was our smallest of the day. And as I was literally about to shut things down, uh, pretty much right at 12, HKD was kind of moving. Um, didn't come up on the scanners until uh, this candle here at, uh, that went up to 730. Even then I was like, eh, not really interested. Um, I would need to see a big move up through 750. And literally, as I was saying that in my head, uh, this next candle started and it made that move. Um, unfortunately, it was after 12. 
Uh, normally I'd probably start this with like two, 300 shares. Uh, if this happened at say like nine 40 in the morning, but now we're at, you know, lunchtime, it was right before 12 o'clock and, uh, yeah, oh, actually Ennox was our last trade. That was the one that happened after 12 HKD was right before, but these ones that happened in, in the afternoon, close to lunchtime, et cetera, I'm just going to start playing them a lot more careful because those are the ones that have always bit me in the past and especially the volume out of nowhere is this one i wouldn't consider a volume out of nowhere um however hkd if you look at the daily uh yeah this one's got some issues <laughs> when you look back it's the one that went all the way up to like 2600 bucks so obviously all the way down at the bottom you never know how many shorts are looking to cover in something like this uh could go crazy at any moment uh so it started off real small um i think the halt price was around like 790 when we got in uh so obviously paying attention to that Ended up working right away, uh, just small size. I believe I took this off in 25s because I was hoping it would continue lower. But once I realized it didn't, I took it off. Let me see. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's right. It gave me two two share fill. So I put my order out at 752 and it gave me two shares. And so basically I was waiting to see if it would give me the fill. And you can see that shot right back up to the highs. Uh, the candle finished back up at the highs. Um, never went through the highs. Uh, I would actually at that point would have been looking to just add if it went up through eight. Um, but unfortunately, or fortunately, it just came straight back down and ended up giving us the rest of those 50 shares at 752. So uh, another smaller win, but hey, uh, four base hits added up to, you know, half of what we look to make on a day, uh, considering it looked like we weren't going to get any trades. And then we ended up with those four. Can't really complain. So that's all I got. Weekend. Uh, always fun. Like and subscribe. Appreciate the support. Questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, Discord, Twitter, you can reach me there as well. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.